First at 6, new information about a New Year's Day ambush that killed a Clark County deputy. Good evening, I'm Holly Samuels. Sheriff Gene Kelly has identified the shooter as 57-year-old Michael Ferryman. Saturday, deputies responded to a call of shots fired at the Enon Beach RV Park. In the exchange of gunfire, Deputy Suzanne Hopper was killed and German Township Patrolman Jeremy Bloom was wounded. Anthony Kiko is live at the Mobile Home Park with the latest on the investigation. Holly, much of the Enon Beach RV Park is blocked off with police tape and the RV that Ferryman died inside of is riddled with bullets after he opened fire on law enforcement officers yesterday. The mood is somber at the Clark County Sheriff's Office as Sheriff Gene Kelly recalls the ambush that took the life of Deputy Suzanne Hopper. As we speak, she is um, being returned to Clark County. Around 11.30 Saturday morning, Sheriff's deputies got a call saying shots had been fired at the Enon Beach camping grounds. Deputy Hopper and a sergeant were the first on scene. They had no idea who might have fired this shot. Um, their belief was is that the person was not in the immediate area and uh, they began to write the report and do their investigation. That's when Sheriff Kelly says 57-year-old Michael Ferryman opened his RV door. Uh, one shotgun blast was fired at a very close proximity striking the deputy and um, it was a fatal wound. When more law enforcement officers arrived and from there, there was an exchange of gunfire, and uh, the German Township officer, Jeremy Bloom, was shot. Sheriff Kelly says Bloom suffered a collapsed lung, but will survive. Sheriff's deputies have been called out to Ferryman's RV before. In 2009, for a vandalism call, and in 2010, for a menacing call. But Ferryman wasn't arrested either time. Sheriff Kelly says he still doesn't know why Ferryman opened fire in the first place. BCI is conducting the crime scene investigation and they are conducting the uh, investigation with the suspect uh, and the death of Deputy Suzanne Wattel Hopper. Now at this point, we're not sure if Ferryman actually killed himself or if he was killed by sheriff's deputies, but eight sheriff's deputies are on administrative leave pending the investigation. Reporting live, Anthony Kiko, two news on your side. Suzanne Hopper was a 12-year veteran of the Clark County Sheriff's Office. Hopper was known for being involved in the community and led the Sheriff's Office's United Way campaign. Kelly says she was a worker who was so dedicated to her job, she once went six straight years without calling in sick. Saturday, she even made an OVI arrest before she started her shift. Hopper was recently married and is a mother of two. And as we mentioned, Deputy Hopper wasn't the only one attacked. German Township Patrolman Jeremy Bloom was also shot in the arm and shoulder area during that shootout. Careflight took Bloom to Miami Valley Hospital, where tonight he is listed in fair condition.